Hello everyone. Today we are going to be talking about speciation, which is an evolutionary process which new biological species arise. The two types of speciations, speciations that we are going to talk about today are allopatric and sympatric speciation. So allopatric speciation is when organisms speciate due to a geographical separation between them. So for example, let's say there are lions living in the same area and let these circles represent the lions. So let's say out of nowhere there was an earthquake or it could be a river forming or mountains, any kind of geographical separation between them. These lions that are in the way will probably die and these other remaining lions will probably go their own separate ways. So after many and many generations, the lions will eventually speciate due to numerous reasons like adapting to a new environment or just mutations within the species or just natural selection in general. There would be no more gene flow between them and eventually they'll just speciate and become something different. So this lion example was an example of vicariant speciation. There's also dispersal speciation, dispersal, where species are geographically isolated but more by the founder effect. An example of dispersal speciation would be Hawaiian fruit flies. So let's say these are some islands in Hawaii and there were fruit flies here let's say they migrated to this island right here they would eventually speciate right over here become something new and there would be no more gene flow between them and let's say after that these flies went to this island and they would speciate over here so that is allopatric speciation let's talk about sympatric speciation now. So sympatric speciation is when organisms speciate due to, well, without a geographical separation between them. So let's use an example that I made up. And let's see. Here's a graph. Let the y-axis represent the number of frogs. And let the x-axis be when they mate. So let's say they mate during the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. Let's say that the frogs mate a lot during the afternoon. Okay, but Let's say we introduce a predator, maybe a hawk or a snake. Let's stick to hawks. And they are very active during the noon. So these frogs that are mating and during the noon will probably die off because the hawks will be eating them. And the frogs in the morning and the evening will be mating with each other. And let's see, after a long time, the graph would probably look something like this. So morning, afternoon, evening. So the frogs right over here were eventually mating with each other and the frogs during the evening were mating with each other and that would stop the gene flow between them and they would probably never see each other again eventually speciating becoming different organisms and that is allopatric and sympatric speciation